Hello, my name is Reuben Wilson. I just want to talk to you today and bring the Word of God to you and I'll let you know that God is God and that He's coming back one day to claim all of us and He wants us to be ready for when He comes. You know, we might go through things in our life. We might have pain. We might have suffering. We might get sick, but God wants you to know that if you believe in Him and trust in the Word of God, that your situation, your your sickness, whatever's ailing you, whatever's wrong with you, He shall heal you. He says, believe and trust in me and all things shall be given to you. He said, if you are sick, if you are going through something, all you have to do is trust and believe in him, the Father in heaven, and that he will raise you up. He will move you out of that bed. He will take that sick bed that you're in. He will take that ailment that is in your body. He will take that frustration. He will take that pain. He will remove that headache. He will remove that cancer. He will remove that heart pain. He will remove that internal organism pain that you're having. He will remove the pain throughout your body. He will remove the sickness that you are having only if you trust and believe in Him. He said, I am the supernatural physician. I am the provider. I am the almighty God. I am the alpha and the omega, the first and the last. And all you have to do is trust and believe in me and I shall deliver you. I shall remove the pain. I shall cure thy sickness. Thy said the Lord God, Jesus Christ. He said, seek me and you shall find. He said, ask and it shall be given. And that's that supernatural healing. That's that supernatural blessing that the Father has for all of his children that truly believe and trust in him. All things shall be added unto you. He said, the Lord, in, in Psalms 41.3, the Bible says, the Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him from the the bed of his illness. That verse is powerful. It's saying that no matter what you are going through, you could be bedridden. A doctor could write you off. But God said he will sustain you. He will lift you up. He will come when the doctor says there's nothing that he can do for you. He will come and minister to you when the doctor says he can't give you anything else for the pain. I'm telling you, all you have to do is trust and believe in the Lord God, Jesus Christ. And these things shall be added unto to you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how sick you are. It doesn't matter how much pain you have. You can come and overcome those issues. All you have to do is believe in God Almighty. And if you believe in God Almighty, His hands will raise you up. His hands will cleanse you. His hands will cure you. You know, the Lord is all powerful and all knowing. And he knows what you're going through. He knows how long you've been suffering. He knows the pain that you're going through, but he wants you to know this day that all you have to do is trust and believe in the Father in heaven, and all these things shall be given to you. He shall cure your sickness. He shall heal you. He shall remove you. You know, in the Bible, it speaks when the Lord God, Jesus Christ, came in with Lazarus, and Lazarus had died. And they came and got the Lord, and the Lord came and called him up. And he brought him back to life from the, the dead. And he made the dead rise. And that's because of the faith that we have and they have in the powers of our Heavenly Father. And you, you have that faith. If you have that belief, that unlying faith, that unlying belief in the Lord God Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what type of pain you're going through. It doesn't matter what type of sickness you're going through. You will be healed. God will raise you up. God will make you whole again. But you have to have that faith. You have to have that trust and believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ. And he shall move you. He shall pick you up. Psalm 73, 26. The Bible says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And what that is saying, all your internal organisms can fail you. You can be on the bleak of dying and the doctor has written you off and he says, there's nothing else we can do there, sir. But if you believe and trust in God, just like the verse is saying, he will raise you up. He will make you whole. He will turn you back 
into the person that you once was. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how sick you are. It doesn't matter if you are on your dying bed and there's no hope and you have lost all hope. But if all you can do and you trust and you believe in the Father in heaven, your situation will change. He will heal you. He will raise you up. He will make you whole again because he is the deliverer. For he is the great physician. For he is the Father in heaven. And through him all things are possible. If we believe, if we trust, because God is God. And he said that, I will guide you. I will guide him and restore comfort to him. Isaiah 5, 7, 18. I will guide him and restore comfort to him. Meaning he's going to guide you. He's going to walk with you. He's going to show you. And he's going to heal you. And he's going to comfort you at the same time. He didn't say I was going to leave you alone doing your, your trial. He didn't say I was going to leave you alone doing your pain. He didn't say while you're crying in that bed on those cold nights or lonely nights when there's nobody else there to comfort you when you're going through the pain and the suffering of your uh, body. God said that if you believe and trust in me, that I will be there. I will comfort you. I will restore you. Because he is the Father. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And all you have to do is believe in me. Because I am first. He is first. And he is last. There's nobody else in between but the Father. And all things come from the Father if we believe. So when you're going through those things and you're having those doubts. And you, you're, you're at that point where you can't take it anymore. Just trust and believe in the Lord God, Jesus Christ, and allow him to walk in your life. Allow him to be that supernatural, spiritual blessing in your life that comes in and heals you and cleanse you and make you whole again. Though we might be half right now, when I say half, half in spirit, half in body because of our sickness, okay, and we've lost some things, God can make you whole again. All you have to do is trust and believe in Him. And I want you to know that God is alive. And He's at the door. So the next time you're going through your pain and suffering, the next time you're sick and you think all is lost and you have no hope, just trust and believe in the Lord God, Jesus Christ. And He shall change you. He shall heal you. Because God is God. And He's a merciful God. And He's a healing God. And He's a God of all power. And all you have to do is ask him and believe and trust that he's going to fix your situation. Believe and ask that he's going to heal you and you shall be healed. All you have to do is have that faith in the Lord God Jesus Christ and knock on the door and open it up and allow him to come in and create and transform you with that supernatural healing. I'm Reuben Wilson and I just want you to, to know that God loves you. And no matter how much you are going through pain, your body. Believe and trust in the Lord God Jesus Christ and he shall deliver you.